Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the top 10 Irish transfers that I think need to happen in the summer transfer window 2019. Starting off with number 10, Connor Masterson. Recently released by Liverpool. Had a good few seasons there. Uh, the last two seasons he's been in and around the first team. And, you know, Jurgen Klopp seemed to be a big fan of his. It was a big shock to me that he was released. But uh, for some reason he has been. And, you know, didn't make that many appearances for them this season. I think he had 10 appearances in total for the under 23s. Uh, and then obviously in the Toulon tournament for Ireland, he played four out of the five games and captains the side against Mexico as well for the last game in the third, uh, third, fourth place playoff game. So I think Conor Matheson could easily get a club from watching his performances in the two long terms, the first time I really got to look at him. But I think if he was to get someone maybe championship or uh, maybe League One and work his way up, I think that would be a, a good move for him. And he seems to be a really, really good player. And a lot of people shocked the fact that he got released. Uh, number nine on the list then we have is Liverpool teammate Cuevin Kelleher. And this one's more of a, a low move than a, a permanent transfer. I'd rather I'd like to see... Kelleher get a, a long move to, to someone maybe in the championship and get some game time. He looks a really, really good goalkeeper. Um, again, he was included into the Champions League squad by Jurgen Klopp for the Champions League and he got a Champions League medal, albeit he didn't play. So people say that the medal doesn't really warrant that much, but still he's got a, he's the only Irish player in recent time to have a Champions League medal all the same. Uh, had a really good Toulon tournament as well. Um Looks a really, really good goalkeeper, a really good modern goalkeeper, really good with his feet, makes great saves. Uh, Darren Randolph's been known to be a very, very big admirer of him as well. So uh, for me, I'd say someone who's looking to maybe come up from the championship or maybe just been relegated and looking for a goalkeeper, I think he'd be quite suited for them. Either way, I just think he needs some game time and I think that would be the perfect opportunity for him if he does. Number eight, Callum Robinson. Callum Robinson, obviously at Preston, he's 24 years old now, and for the sake of his international career, I think a move to somebody either that are probably going to be promoted or maybe lower end of the, of the Premier League for now, someone maybe who's just gone up or something might take a punt on him. I think he's a really, really good player. I think it's shown. He finished Preston's top goal scorer this season as well, and despite being out for large parts of the season with injury, so... Um, <clears throat> I think Callum Robbins is a very, very good player. I think we still to see the best of him in an Irish shirt. And I think if he moved to someone, either as I say, competing for the for the uh, for the championship title or for the uh, to, in the Premier League, I think that would be a huge move for him. And I think it would benefit him in regards to cementing his Irish place uh, in the starting lineup. I think. Somewhere, I don't know, maybe a Burnley or someone like that. I think it would be an ideal move for him. Hard work inside and, you know, he's a hard working player. He'll run all day long for you. He can play anywhere across the front three as well and he can play as a winger. So uh, I think he'd be a great move for, for a club either looking to get into the Premier League or competing in the Premier League. So number seven, Scott Hogan spent the, la the last half of the season at Sheffield. You know, it helped get them promoted. Um albeit to play that many games he had 18 appearances uh in total last season including Aston Villa and only got two goals um he's come out in recent interviews and said you know if he's if he's been if he's to be given a run of games he would be um he thinks he would be Aston Villa's main striker so it'd be, it'd be interesting to see if Villa actually take a chance on him because I do think maybe moving to Sheffield United might be a better fit for him. It seemed as though he's, he enjoyed more of his football there, obviously helped get them promoted. Um, you know, re recently started for Ireland as well and um, it looked very, very frustrated. It seems the type of player who needs a run of games uh, to get a, a run of goals, basically. And he seems to be constantly getting left out. And um, for that, I, I just think... Again, like Callum Robinson, a, a club that m might be looking to to get promotion, or as I say, she Sheffield United might be the perfect bet. Or, like I wouldn't like to see him stay at Villa. He hasn't been given any chances this far, so so I think you know maybe a, a new move and a fresh start for him might be good. And obviously, this he knows Sheffield United and he knows the players there as well. So I think it would be an ideal move if he did if he was to go there. So 
watches his space, I think he will move somewhere soon. Uh, number six, Callum O'Dowd. I think a lot of people will be in agreement that he needs to leave Bristol City. Um, he had a really, really good season. He's added on to his goals. He's had 35 appearances, five goals and five assists. So Callum is someone who's been linked with Leeds there. I think it was in January and this summer already that he uh, Leeds were unlucky not to get promoted last season. They kind of fell off the wagon towards the end of the season. So if he did go there, it wouldn't be a bad move for him. I do think a Premier League club with someone like maybe Norwich or something would be a, a really good move for him. Um, Norwich fans may may disagree on that, but that's the, their own case. I think because of his injuries that he actually missed out big time on actually getting uh, a part to, to play in the in the games against Gibraltar and, and Denmark. So I feel as though if he was to get a good run of games and he was at a bigger club, I think he'd be one of the first names in the team sheet. He's really, really kicked on. Um, and as I say, it's just injury was the reason why he, he didn't really get into the team this year um, or this summer even. I think, as I say, someone like Norwich would be a really, really good move for him, I think, or someone competing top level of the championship. Number five, Ronan Curtis. With 23 years old and he has 49 appearances this season, including cup co competitions with 11 goals and 12 assists uh, in League One. And was really, really unlucky not to get promoted. Um, had a really good season. At one stage, he was flying. He was banging them in for fun. And he, I think he was... In League One, he was the person that was involved in the most amount of goals in the league. Either at one point or he finished strongly on that. Um, was deserved of his of his call up to the Ireland squad, and obviously Martin O'Neill was captain in that time as well. So Curtis, I think a Championship club would be ideal for him because I just think now is the right time for him to move because for his international career. I think if he's playing championship, he's going to get more of a chance of a look in and more of a chance of a start than he would at a League One club. And that's no disrespect to Portsmouth um, or League One for that matter. But I mean, you even look at Jason Collins who got promoted and he's not really been getting a look in either. I think if he went to someone, I don't even know who, who he could go to. You could let us know in the comments who, who he should go to. But I, I, I do think a championship club would be ideal for, for Ronan Curtis it's just a matter of finding the right fit I do think he would flourish there if he was and who knows in the, in the next six months if he does get a move uh, I'd be interested to see what what way he lines out with the Republic of Ireland in regards will be, will he be a starter uh, if he does make the move or will he stay I hope he doesn't stay I think as I say this video is all about players that need to move so I think he needs to move and I think a championship club that are maybe aiming for promotion would be his best bet because you look at Preston, uh, Sean Maguire and stuff like that who are playing there but they're not really getting a look at the order. I know he's been injured and stuff like that but I do think if he's going for someone, I don't know, Middlesbrough or someone like that, Robbie Keane's there, someone like that who could maybe push on for promotion this year whether it's via the playoffs or automatic promotion, you never know. So I think, as I say, that type of move would be perfect for Curtis. Number four, Robbie Brady. Robbie Brady's not really made the amount of appearances that he probably would have uh, liked it since he's been back from injuries. at 16 league appearances, uh, won the FA Cup, and he's got one assist in that time out of all those games. So I just think for Robbie's sake and for Ireland's sake, I think maybe it's time for a new challenge or maybe it's time to get a loan move somewhere else um, to get some game time. Whether it's the championship or whether it's a club that just came up, maybe Norwich, he obviously has been there before. Um, maybe somewhere like that would, would be an ideal fit just to get him a run of game times. You can see he's lacking that match sharpness and if he does get that match sharpness, it would be great to have him back, obviously, in the Republic of Ireland squad. I think he, he'd be a real asset once he gets fully fit. Robbie Brady showing glimpses and obviously scored against Gibraltar there when he came off the bench. But uh, in, in his last few Ireland appearances he just hasn't been the Robbie Brady of old and as seen with Seamus Coleman when, when players come back from big, big injuries they need game time and whether it's a dip in form or you know a good bit of form that they're in they'll go up and down till they kind of maintain that level which kind of happened with Seamus Coleman this season so I think Robbie Brady an ideal move again somewhere like Norwich or somewhere like that he's, he's obviously been there before might be a good, good time to go back um, but it'll be interesting to see how that one plays out. Number three, Adam Brown at Preston. Adam Brown, he had 41 appearances, 12 goals and 5 assists from midfield. 
Mick McCarthy, huge admirer of his as well, and he seems to be really, really frustrated that he every time he gets called up, he gets injured, so he doesn't get a chance to play him because I think he would ideally like to have him compete with Jeff Hendrick for that role in the the Irish midfield. So I think if he could get maybe a Premier League club to come in for him or someone of that of that ilk to come in and take an interest in him, I think it'd be a good move for him if if he was to leave Preston. He's been there a while now, and um. You know, Sean is probably their best player other than Callum Robinson. Albeit it's nice to have two Irish players at the club. I would like to see them kick on a little bit now. And if they can, that would be absolutely ideal because they're both really good players. And, you know, Alan Brown, if you've watched him this season, he's been absolutely brilliant. Got all types of goals and um, seems to be a serious player. But I just think for his own personal international career, I think if he was playing at a higher level now, or if he just got that that move to maybe a club that are competing towards the top end of the championship again, or or in the Premier League, I just think he'd he'd make he'd he'd be he'd be a big asset to a smaller club, um maybe in the Premier League. I think he'd be a, a real big asset for them, and I think he, he would score the goals and help teams in the Premier League rather than just kind of hovering around mid table in, in the championship. And again, that's no disrespect to Preston. Um, I just feel as though. Alan Brown is, is is at the moment anyway is is better than that. I think he he could really help a team that are probably looking to go places. Not that Preston aren't, but I just think a move would be ideal for them. Uh, number two, James McCarthy at Everton. He made one sub appearance all season. Uh, been on the bench a couple of times under Marco Silva. Marco Silva seems to really rate him, but for some reason won't give him any game time. So. Um, from for James McCarthy, I think it's time he gets a permanent transfer elsewhere. Seamus Coleman's recently come out and spoken about it as well, and said, you know, he probably needs a new, a fresh challenge. He looks like the, the James McCarthy of old when uh, in training. He he's confident that he's a big part to play in this qualifying campaign that we have coming up, um, or that we're probably in the middle of. So, um, someone like a Crystal Palace have been linked with with James McCarthy in the past, and I think that might be a good club for him to go to. Obviously, they like to set up similar enough to Ireland where they'd have a lot of players behind the ball and then look to break them when they have the ball. So um, I think James McCarthy, somewhere like that would be a, a really good move for him. I'd, I'd like to see him stay in the Premier League. If he can stay in the Premier League, happy days. Um, a lot of Celtic fans are calling for him to go to the SPL. I don't think it's the right time for him to go to the SPL. I think he'd still offer a lot more to a Premier League club. Um, not that I'm I'm slating Celtic in any way before I get pelted in the comments, but uh, I just think somewhere in the Premier League he he's settled in England already. What's the point in him going to Scotland? I know he's from there or whatever, but I just think he can go. He could go to let Celtic later on in his career. He's still a really good footballer, and I just think at this point in time he just needs game time. And if you can get game time and get match sharpness back, I think he'll be our prime defensive midfielder going forward. As long as he can get back to the James McCarthy of old and shake off the injuries that he's had. He's had bad ones between his hamstring now, broken leg. So I just think if James McCarthy can recapture some form, and de- he, he's definitely going to leave Everton this summer. Um, I don't think that's uh, any shock to anybody. And I think even Everton fans would, would wish him well. Uh, myself personally, being an Everton fan, I would like to wish him well. And uh, as an Ireland fan, I'd like to see him get a good club now and, and really be the number one player in that position because on his day he's as good as anyone I think uh, number one Darren Randolph um, absolutely sensational this season between winning player of the year awards left right and centre fans player of the year award for Ireland as well uh, I think he won Middlesbrough's fans player of the year as well so he's just had an absolutely unbelievable season um, 46 appearances and he's made 19 clean sheets that's just for Middlesbrough not counting the ones he's Made for Ireland as well. I think he's only conceded one goal um, in his last, I think it's six games for Ireland. So, Darren Randolph, I think a Premier League club would suit him down to the ground. I think he's earned the move now if he was to leave Middlesbrough. And, you know, I think I think a Premier League club now is uh, exactly what, what he would need. He's in the prime of his career. Um, there's a lot of goalkeepers coming up now that are kind of keeping him on his toes. Mark Travers... Uh, Quivian Kelleher, um, well, Gavin Bazoon is probably a, a, a bit far off at the minute, but uh, there is good goalkeepers coming up through the ranks there, and um, I just think if Darren was playing at the highest level, you'd be getting the absolute best out of him, even though he's been, been absolutely amazing for us this season. Um, 
So yeah, I think if Darren got a club, I'm trying to think of what club maybe would 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 be a good fit for him. Um, I don't know, maybe someone like a somewhere like a Brighton or somewhere like that. Um, play with Shane Duffy in front of him, which he's used to obviously at Ireland. Uh, somewhere like that, I think would be a, a good move for him. Um, again, it'd be interesting to see. It'd be quite funny if he went to Burnley and took uh, Joe Hart's spot because he took a spot at West Ham. But I, as I say, just somewhere in the Premier League, I think it would be tailor made for Dan Randolph. Um, not sure where exactly he should go. You can tell me that in the comments. Uh, if you're a Middlesbrough fan, you probably want him to stay and totally understand that because he's been absolutely magnificent. But uh, that's been my top 10 transfers that I think need to happen this summer. Let us know if I've missed anybody or if there's someone on the list that you would like to see get a move. Let us know in the comments because it's always nice to hear. Um, and uh, if you like this video, drop a like on the video. And we're aiming to reach 6,000 subscribers at the moment. So if you wouldn't mind, drop a subscribe on the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. It's been me, Paul Neal, and as always, I'll speak to you soon, guys. Thanks for watching.